Hi guys, hi. Uh, hi Sunshine, welcome back to my channel. So oh, today, you're yeah, the Sunshine. Yeah, the Cool Sunshine's like, hi. Because we really like it. I don't have guys on the one. It's Sunshine. I'm like, oh my God. So sorry, sorry. sorry. Hi sorry. Sunshine. So today I have amazing guests. I don't know. But it's like you're slaying. Yes. Angles. Yes. Yes. Lighting. Yes. Camera. Action. <laughs> this is our fifth take. So, would you like to say who you are? Please. Uh, my name is Judy Amalo. Mm -hmm. My name is Moringo Bituku. And we are awesome. We are awesome. And yeah. my name is Mwende. So today we're going to talk about discrimination on weight and color. So as usual, let's go straight to the video. Yep. We one of the most interesting or weirdest. Weirdest discrimination based on weight mm -hmm. and then based on color. Skin, Skin color. Skin color. Okay. Yeah. So which one do you want to start with? Whichever you're comfortable with. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Let's go for it. Let's point. go straight to the point. Okay, waste time. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about discrimination mm. about weight. Yes. So what about it? Mm. <laughs> what are your first thoughts when someone says discrimination Which against weight? Yeah. What I think mm. it's when people or society mm. looks down upon you based on how you're sized, mm -hmm. whether you're big or small. Mm. So the society will judge you based on that. So that's what discrimination. Yeah. Is. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like once they categorize you based on how much you weigh or how much they think you weigh, now they put expectations on you. Mm -hmm. So because you are is fat or plus size, you should not be like this. You are like this because you do this and this. Because you're, you're skinny, it's because of A, B, C, D. So you're they put, you're not eating, you exercise too much. Like you're they put, too much. Okay. They put expectations on you. So it's like a form of discrimination to me. Yeah. Mm. I think weight discrimination varies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this continent, traditionally, mm -hmm. bigger women are more beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm in, I'm in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think Western, in the Western world, it's like, oh my God, look at obesity, look at yeah. obesity. Look <laughs> yes, at this <laughs> high blood pressure. <laughs> working, cholesterol is working, you know. I don't think I I, I I I think even as I'm saying that I think it's beauty like it's beautiful here. Yeah. There are still places, especially in like in Nairobi. Mm. It's not like in Shags. You know, Shags is a big one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that is the way. In Nairobi, it's not necessarily yeah. like that. It's like guy. Now I'm cool. You know. Yeah. I do yes. think that it changes how people view you. Mm. It changes how people, oh, yeah, even your experience on the road mm, is different. different. You can tell someone is just my God, and yeah. people will look and <laughs> stare. Where, 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 I don't know. You know, oh, it's not. Oh my it's, God. It, yes. The, the experience yeah. is, 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 is different. Mm. And I also think there's a there's a certain type of plus size that that's acceptable. That's acceptable. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for mentioning that. That's something I don't I've think come to all realize. the plus size is is, is, is yeah. Is, mm -mm. If your plus size like the only one that is acceptable is the hourglass. I've mentioned yeah. this yeah. a million and one times. Like the you need to have the small waist. Your boobs have to be big. You need to have mm. a body like you know. But then you need to have no love handles. You don't have dimples on your thighs. Yeah. No your, cellulite. What is cellulite? What is even? Mm -hmm. I kindly also have a thigh gap. Oh, yeah, yes. with all those things. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it have a thigh gap. Unrealistic expectations, because not yeah. everyone looks like that. Yeah. But majority of people actually don't look like that. You know, mm. your body weight. Mm. Your when you're putting on weight, mm. the brain, as wonderful as the brain is, mm. it doesn't say, oh, boy, I don't need to <laughs> yeah. waist none, thighs to just a sixty percent. Yeah, it, no. it doesn't do that. Most people mm. put on weight even mm. Mm. So if you know not your boobs, mm. chances are your face it's showing on your face, mm. it's showing on, on your, your thighs, eyes, yeah. it's showing on your stomach, mm. it's showing it's showing. Yeah, it you show. cannot tell people be fat only but here yes. and here. Yeah. And then the but rest. Kati kati, please kindly yeah. be and and be thin. Let, let's you not can't. exceed thirty two inches. Yeah. No, you can't. And there's something else you you've mentioned. There are people who gain weight the distributed well, but there are others. Okay, gain weight in the it goes to one place. That or is just it. Size. Yeah, or your size. Yeah. That is all where the weight will go and you cannot explain. You can't do it's anything just like yeah. about it. What is happening. Yeah. So that discrimination is just wrong. Like classifying people based on how the much you yeah. think they weigh. Yeah. And then the thing with the fashion industry, like um, I think you had mentioned it. Like Kunoatu, I'm not thin enough to be skinny, but I'm not fat enough to be plus yeah. size. I'm the in between. I'm that awkward size. Uko awkward size. 
Umi, eh, are you there? Like, size ten, twelve, fourteen. Yes. Is, yeah, yeah. It's that yes. you don't fit yeah. either one. Yeah. You are not plus size. Cause you're not plus I plus also, plus. yeah. If I wear a crop top, but mm. I look like a squeezed bottle. <laughs> then, <laughs> I guess she just likes to jump straight to the point. Then I also straight. can't wear something that just not form fitting. Yeah. Then I can't also wear something. It's a, it's an awkward size to be it's because. An awkward size. And also, you have to have that same hourglass figure. Mm. So if you don't have an hourglass figure, then you have to cut, cut. It becomes a bit difficult to dress because you're like, no, why enough dress that? Okay, I can't wear a crop top and high waist jeans. I can't because. wear low rise right jeans. Mm -hmm. I cannot wear this. I mm. cannot. Well, technically speaking, you can, you but can. then you won't be yeah, as comfortable because yeah. yes. you look and you think that it looks like that on that person. Hey, hey, no, on me. <laughs> ah. And then also the, on the opposite of that, for plus size people, mm. if you wear anything, if you have crop top and cute jeans, if you have anything tight mm -hmm. you're, you're over sexualized yeah you're showing too or you're much. asking for it yeah you're asking you're for asking it for so it. you're just they are putting yourself out there yeah yeah like a piece of meat yeah, yeah. and i'm like okay. it, it's not at all oh, that's cute it's mm -hmm. oh you're looking sexy you know yeah it's like you're oh, trying. It's too much. Yeah, yeah it's too much actually yeah the, if you were much. to walk around with someone who crop top and booty shorts mm. a size maybe a size two mm -hmm. it's and different. you like the same thing yeah. a size two nobody will 90% of the time, no one will not But you know, nice. someone will even come and spank your ass. Yeah, you know? uh, there's a whole, yeah. yeah. Then it becomes, she was asking for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One, no, the one that uh, that I dislike is now when, you know, there's a point you reach as a person, that crop top and those booty shorts. You feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. and cool. But now people are like, no, she's desperate for attention. Yeah. It's yeah. just yeah. attention. Yeah. Yeah. people are not supposed to wear that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think it, it makes it different. Like dressing up, mm. dressing up is. It's hard. It's, yeah. hard. it's hard. It's hard. I don't yeah. think it's. I, I. I also think there are many people who don't enjoy it because it's mm -hmm. a reminder of mm -hmm. these are all the ways that my body is not working. Mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. You know, these are I have constant to reminders of here. insecurities. Yeah, yeah. You have yeah. to stand. Yeah. 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 When you're posing for a picture, <laughs> I think oh, we gosh. are guilty of that, but we shall. Yeah, I do ourselves. think. I do think when it comes to plus size women. Mm -hmm. I, I sometimes I really feel I feel for you guys mm. because the 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 world will always have an opinion mm. about and not just plus size women plus mm. size even men and even children yeah mm. yeah when a child is too big eh, like the other day and a this, what's her name's child was being trolled online but the child was, but the child was yes child. imagine you know and I was, I was like, like this what? kid is so innocent but you know people love baby fat yeah and did you know yeah. We don't come out looking we like models. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I think also and you have to allow such someone a child. To, and if I'm not wrong, the child has been unwell. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. And you, you see, the reason why people started feeling sorry is because the, the child had been sick. But I'm like, even if the child, the child has not been sick, yeah, so I'm like, it's, it's a not, nice yeah. subject because not you nice. don't know. Yeah, you exactly. also don't know what. Just don't. Mm. don't you don't, don't know what don't, you're don't do it. Through. Don't do it. But then, yeah, there people will have comments. For even children, it's so I do think that I, your, your, even convenience wise, mm. like you've heard of, I don't know they watched Tessa Tyler Perry movies. Why did I get married? I yes, mm. oh my god, mm. and this girl yeah. gets on the plane yeah. and she's told, uh, you can sit with us, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know. it's, it's, I, I do think that the experience is different. Let me yeah. tell you so where I live. Well. To get home, you have to take and do And I remember the first time we moved there, mm. like I went to take and do and the guy was like, "Hey, Mrs. is it cool there, but she's My goodness! Then he was like, audacity. He's like, "Hey, how about you?" And then now he starts telling me the way ni me ni me jaza. I look like I like I can be someone's good wife because I know I look like I know how to eat, so it means I look like I know how to cook. And then <laughs> that mathematics is. Yo, I can't just drive me from point A to point B. Mind you, me going to take move from upper to upper. The rest was not relevant yeah. to me. But then I remember, like every time to this day, I still see that guy. And you know that also hook. gives you a sense of insecurity. If mm -hmm. just in terms of your space, mm -hmm. you're not sure what the next person is going to say or do. Yeah, that's true. You know. Because people, well, if someone can, that's someone you're meeting mm, for mm, the first time. And he exactly. Has a, he has an entire he has such speech. an opinion. Pro, yeah. You know, he's prepared. It, it's like, it's like, I'm ready. Yeah, when I'm I'm waiting for one. one person to come. Yeah. So I really tell them, so. there's, I, that's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah. That's yeah. definitely a problem. That's also for so you so. internally, you can sit and think. You then question, 
Am I too big to take a bath? Mm. Am I too big to be carried by that? Mm. Is that the guy look like he's strong enough? Oh my yeah. god! Oh my yeah. god! Imagine. Yeah. So I do think that the experience, and I'm not. I, I know there's been a whole conversation about also skinny girls mm. feeling skinny mm. shamed, and I'm not trying to undermine so. that. Yeah. I'm not saying that they're not skinny shamed. I'm just saying that I don't think. The Not intensity on, on toes. I don't think the intensity is the same. same. We've had this conversation. Yeah, I was telling you, they are told yeah. in such a it's a cute mm. like, oh, you shouldn't have burger. You know, yes. it's cute. Mm. But you'll be told, as yes, you go and lose weight. Mm. But then also the other thing I think is generally they they are considered more acceptable. Yeah. So you won't even if you there are places where they'll go mm. and they're likely to be told eh, when you've been unwell, you love to make mm, mm. you know. But generally, if you think about it, when you lose weight, people congratulate you. I'm yeah, to say yeah. that people even go as far as buying you gifts yeah. and telling you we are so proud of you that you lost so well. weight. Yeah. And in fact, losing weight is equated to it's looking a compliment. nice. It's yeah. actually a compliment. Hey, you look yeah. nice. You've lost weight. Kwani, what are you doing? That's how people approach it. <laughs> and no one will rarely ever. I'm yet to encounter someone who will say, except. Mm. The usual African auntie says, yeah. "You have put on what your How we like you? This is how we like you. Except Finally, yeah. we've been waiting. <laughs> Except the usual. Rarely ever will you meet someone says, 'You've put on weight. Mm. Oh my Actually, God, you look so gorgeous. Yeah. It never come never. Yeah, it's eh. Hey, no you longer so there. Yeah. Yeah. Corona, you need to buy a full number. Yeah. That time for eh, Corona is a question. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, maybe. I don't like, think maybe." Stressed, you know. Not yeah. everyone. Not everyone. Not. It's not the same. The mm. comments that you'll receive mm. are not the same, and I think not that's why same. people are conditioned to think the smaller the better. The or button. if you must be big, be big. A certain, a certain, a certain way. Way. But even for slim girls, I think even for them, if you must be slim, be slim. A certain. A certain way. Way. If they're too, yeah, if yeah. they're too slim. Then it becomes a thing of you're a bag of bones, eh, eh, you know, and people yes, are told that you're too bony. Whole, yeah, eh, utani dunga dunga. Eh, There's that. No, it's <laughs> it happens. Yeah. But then I, I think commenting on people's bodies it's is just wrong. It's it's wrong because mm. you might say you've lost weight and maybe someone has been trying to put on weight, yeah. or you might say you've put on weight and someone's like, man, I've been in the I've gym. I've been for seven man. Mm. As in, it's not one. Yeah. I, I, it's a very touchy subject and it's tied a lot to how we feel about mm. ourselves you know mm. how you feel how how you what you look like determines am i going out in like, yeah. will i be confident will i go to like you look at me like, like, look at, you know or, am i going to approach someone and talk to them yeah yeah because mm. yeah. mm. it, it, you you overthink yeah. it and i think that's something that as a, a just generally needs to stop people should stop yeah, making the discrimination yeah. Yeah. yeah i also do think when it comes to the body size mm. a lot of it is fetishized mm. yeah mm. It's, it's a mm. yeah yes it. a lot of We're it using is, big words or, now yeah, you know <laughs> We're We're hello it. education <laughs> sorry <laughs> I think a lot of it, there's an aspect where it's fetishized, mm. and I think there's also a part of it where it's mm. considered it, it's trendy. Mm. Just let me ask you, do you remember when we were um, nine, ten, eleven? Oh, you started watching chick flicks, mm-hmm. sana, sana. Mm-hmm. You remember those chick flicks that had the popular girl who was such a mean yeah, girl, the mean girl, mean, yeah. she had hair, she had hair, and then mm-hmm. if she takes her, oh, I don't want yeah. you. Know, then like an ass looking big was a bad yeah. thing well, in many, God, many, no, many movies. No, no, no. yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, BBL, Everyone. all of a sudden, Everyone, all of us. Mm-hmm. all of a sudden, squat no, the so you know. You can talk cold sculpting. Cold sculpting. Cold sculpting. Everything. So it's just, it's just I think it was, Yeah, there was a point where mm. a big ass was such a bad thing. Mm. Then now, people are paying money to get to have a big ass. So I do people think there's dying. a point... By the way, no, you know those things mm. actually deflate. It's not they a do. joke. And when you're, it's like when, when you done do by, this to a balloon. And then uh, now, when it's done, you go abroad to have it done. There's mm. a lady who has a, there's a, I'll send it to you. Mm. You go abroad to have it done. Then if you want to fly back home immediately. You can't. My friend, the pressure in the plane deflates. Oof. Wa- Oof. Are you Even yes. yes. I'll yeah. send you a video. This girl was Oh having. my God. <laughs> the worst mistake was to get a BBL. And she shows, like, the pressure in the plane. It affects hey. the Yes. But then, I remember this event. Imagine. Other, so how do you fly back? You, you have wait. To wait. You have to wait for it to heal. You're not oh, supposed to. Wait. You can't. Yeah. But also, you have to have a very good doctor. Yeah. Who I knows, can imagine. Who can who tell knows. you? 
Two weeks. Two weeks. And then also, there's another one I saw. It came to botched. The lady mm. wanted to get uh, butt injections, but then she didn't have the money. So she put cement in her butt and I think her face. It Why? Because of and discrimination. Face, like, I'll show you the clip. I can look for it. I'll come inject, I'll come make a cement, kawuso, na kwahaga. Like, it was just bad. I think it's a thing in US. If you can't get, I don't know, for those back early doctors, ah, they yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just for cheap Cement! Do you know how cement sets? Yeah. How cement You know cement heavy. sets? Mm. So imagine how desperate that is all about oh because of this community. Yeah, yeah, I do think that yeah. yeah, the kind of comments that we make make people gotcha. make people feel like things do need to change mm. and 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 everyone someone's day to day experience may make them feel if I, if only I was smaller, mm. if only I was curvier, mm. if only I was this, if only I was so. I mean, I, I guess after a while of those comments oh, just floating you, through your yeah, mind, yeah, it gets to yeah. you and you become desperate enough to just do, do anything. To put cement in your ass. Anything. Mm. I look for that lady. I remember she was unwatched. Uh, yeah. And then now, the, the, I remember you were mentioning in a conversation we were having, discrimination based on color. And people are thinking, but to go Africa, to go Nairobi, all of us are done. And we all have different. Yeah, if you look actually at the three of us, you have all within standing yeah. order. This was not planned. <laughs> Not planned. We did not plan it. We did not plan it. But please sponsor. Please Yeah, we can be sponsored. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, darling, darling, darling. This is darling here. Anyway, so like I remember you mentioned discrimination based on skin color. Like, have you ever faced discrimination based on your skin color? I've felt the privilege of being like. Aha! Tell us how is it? Must be nice. I know. It's it it feels weird. Mm-hmm. It feels weird. So, okay. Um, I remember I went to a school once. Mm -hmm. I will not name the school because... Yeah, we don't want to be sued. <laughs> Let me just... But yeah, you know but I went to a school where someone had... Well, a relative of mine was in the school. I said, oh, my cousin is coming. Mm -hmm. And I think he'd shown photos. Mm -hmm. So even before I got there, the narrative was, there's a light skin babe coming. Bit coming. Oh. Just that light skin babe, that light skin babe, and I think that's the first time I was like, this light skin thing is a big deal. Mm. Why is it such a big yeah. deal? Mm. It's such a big deal. That was the very first time. Another thing I realized is compliments are different. Mm. Sometimes you'll be told when you ramble, mm. full stop. Mm. Most times, hey, rangia, you know, mm. the first thing you're complimenting me on is my skin. Yeah. I've seen Thank that. You, I have also realized that I can get away with just by being light skin, not spending much money. Mm. Mm. You can yeah, go somewhere and the cab will be paid for. <laughs> you get someone, someone's like, oh, let me cover. Yeah. A lot of times, mm -hmm. it's because it of happens. Skin Although color. people do think we're bougie, high maintenance, mm. 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 and then mm. light skin mm. privilege. Oh. Yeah. People so there's a good and a bad. There's yeah. a good. There's a part where you're like, I wanna need to kind of. No, there was a time. I think that's the first time I was like, I, what? Mm. Uh, I was working, and I think we were on a break. Mm. We were working and we were working on an event somewhere. So on a break, and then we just sat all of us mm. and just, you know, they just like, hey, what? Yeah, mm. mm. sat, and mm. then someone started the conversation of, hey, you remember when you went? So I said, hey, Atta, by the way, before I graduated, mm. and this guy said, hey, can I skin cake on a degree? Oh my God. The no, audacity. So, I the audacity swear, for me. I, I swear I know many of us who have degrees. Is it not a degree? Yeah. Because I was like, I didn't tell me that the light skin, hey. the number of light skin girls with degrees Alice. are very few. Because I was just like, do you not encounter them? But it just occurred to me. And then he asked me, Nani degree ya PR? So I was like, um... Let me educate you. No, I'm a lawyer. You know, let me yeah. just share my credential. <laughs> like, so I so like, was genuinely shocked because he was like, "No, you have a like, degree. No, yeah, yeah. Like so yeah. There's that. There's just mm. that. That mentality. There's that, there's that mentality. But mm. I can assure you, people, mm. in terms of beauty standards, mm. light skin is considered pretty. When it may not necessarily, you can stand next to someone who is a darker complexion. Mm. It may not necessarily be pretty. Mm. Mm. But just because you're lighter, lighter. But just because you're lighter. Yeah. Someone will consider you more pretty. Mm. So yeah. let me ask you, my mm -hmm. when was the first time you ever felt like Babs has told us it's mm. when she went to that school? Mm. That one. Yeah, that one. Mm. What about you? When was the first time you actually thought, I'm kind of standing out from these people because of my skin color? Can I tell you the truth? Mm. My skin color has never been 
and really? honestly to be quite really? honest i mean between this month i'm dark next month i'm light me yeah. niko tu hapo katikati like like being very never, very honest i've never like you've never felt I've, I've, imagine no wait i have wait oh. I have, wait i have stories <laughs> Even have books. If you want a book and a movie, yeah, I can shoot it. I didn't need to be up by tomorrow. Oh but uh, light skin, no. But what I struggled with regards to complexion, maybe is acne. That's all. Okay. So acne was now my, maybe my acne was what was stopping anyone from seeing if I was light or dark. Okay. So I was discriminated based on that. But mm-hmm. in Guinea, imagine. Mm-mm. Let's just go to you because I have nothing to share. Wow. <laughs> So I think my first time mm. was when also I went to that school that, that, shall, not that shall not be mentioned, mm-hmm. and majority of the people were light skin. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes, <laughs> and yeah, were cool. like ten Africans in the whole school. When you reach one, <laughs> sorry. Uh-huh. So you'd see even the even the black boys mm. would always choose to go for the lighter skinned. So you'd always mm. feel. Is there something? Is there something wrong with my skin color? Mm-hmm. Am I not doing? Am I not scrubbing myself hard enough for me to be like? Honestly, actually, honestly, I used to think who that. There are dark who are told you need. I remember mm. the jokes when your kids were nasty. Yeah, yeah. Who are giving you? Who are you? Any chafu? So even when it used to come to like yeah. things like sports or mm. swimming. Mm. First of all, I never used to go. I went for swimming once, and then I'm like, everyone else here looks different. I have hips, I have an ass, I have boobs, I have so much booty. booty. This different. everyone else is so. Hard. And then also light and yeah. light. Yeah. And so I don't light. know how I'm meant to compete you're, you're with just that. Like, I'm not like, no, nope, not me. Yeah. No, yeah. It just felt like see, if there's no one who looks like me, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I'd like to sense. say, like I've seen the light skin privilege. I have mm-hmm. seen that even mm-hmm. when you go, it's not even necessarily to. A, fancy place even in the supermarket guys mm. we can tell like you'll find you'll enter like remember the supermarket i went shall not be named also then when you enter like the attendant and end up and trolley. Mm. Oh, here's your trolley. Thank you. Then the rest of us, we have to go look you for the for trolley. Yourself. Sort yourself. Like I have seen it, but it's not happened directly to me. But I acknowledge that it exists. But you know there mm. are places where they hire particularly people who are going to mm. be directly mm. uh, in in uh, relation with uh, or in contact with their customers or clients or pay. Mm. Yeah. Someone who, if you're going to talk to someone who's a potential mm, customer, you have to look at you have have to a certain color, color. Yeah, I've heard of various banks where the girls do need to be light mm. and they do need to be a certain size, yeah, and to have a particular yeah. Shape. shape. Yeah, and I have heard of um restaurants mm. where mm. the food. Mm. So restaurants where and by the way if you look there's mm. a car pattern. Mm. But then you really where the that. waiters and the waitresses they don't, I don't know whether they do that for the guys, waiters, I think guys no why I don't think they do that for just, just, just be able to guys. speak English that's yeah. it. Yeah. Not yeah. for the rest of but us. But for the for the waitresses actually you yeah. have to have a certain yeah. Yeah, yeah, you what? can definitely see yeah, uh, marketing agencies. We mm-hmm. are not mentioning which ones. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, but uh, okay, no, I won't. I don't say I understand. Okay, how will you fit the aisle? But still, that's discrimination. That no, but you can fit. Yeah. You can fit. You can fit. By the way, but that's what the the length they use because you need to fit the aisle. But you see. Mm. I know it's it's a okay. it's a justification to a wrong that to, doesn't to, make sense. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's, it just it's, makes them unique. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So those are the two discriminations based on weight and skin color. And if I would just ask a question from, if I could ask you a question, if you could meet your younger self, knowing what you know now on those two discriminations, like what would you like tell her? Where that crop top is. <laughs> um. Beauty is fleeting, mm. I would say. Mm. One minute you're considered, or how you look mm. is what's going on. Because I remember in a school I was in before this place, mm. where mm-hmm. I because this place is when I was like, I'm pretty. Mm. Are these people mm. normal? All of them yeah. think I'm pretty. Yeah. 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 Someone here is not, because the lying. school I was in before, you, you know, you're not that, you're not. 
Uko tu. You're not uko not uh, it's not even uko tu. You're just you're just mm. Mm. It's just you're existing. Mm. Mm. They're definitely pretty girls. Yeah. You're just not one. Mm. Pretty girls. You're not yeah. one of the girls who guys would be. Yeah, you know? yeah. And then so, at that age, we all wanted all the boys to yeah, like us. Yeah, that's what you know. Yeah. 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 You like you. It matters to you. Field. So I think I would <laughs> say it. It's fleeting because at that time it wasn't a big deal, and I don't even think I remember someone coming up and saying, "You're so pretty. Mm. I want to talk mm. to you." Yeah, yeah. In the school I went to after, oh my god, it was like sorting flies because she's like, all these guys, mm. all of them, <laughs> the like, they, have <laughs> they have something to say, they have something to say, and this is intimidating. Mm. And then I went to uni, mm. I went to uni abroad, mm-hmm. and I do think that the standard for African or black women is different. It's different, actually. Mm-hmm. Is. Listen, mm-hmm. I'm short, Tell us. I'm light, <laughs> I'm a bit, just a kid of chubby, mm-hmm. nobody wants that, eh? Oh, they want tall, 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 tall like yeah. dark, like uh, dark, like a like human dark, like, like, like yeah, yeah. Thank you, uh, Peter. That Peter. one, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So now in uni, just generally, I don't know. There was a, there was a shift, and mm. I've never worked out what the trend mm. was at that time. Mm. But there was definitely a shift for. It's not. This is you're beautiful at home. Mm. At home, mm. at home, you're pretty. Mm. In fact, the minute I would get on a flight coming back to Nairobi, hey. and there's a yeah, they're Kenyans. Hey, remember, even at the waiting room, you just wait. yeah. I'm on home ground because people are <laughs> not like, think I'm really, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm home, guys. I'm yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, mm. we may be five hours away, but we go yeah. home. But yeah, there's a different beauty. Is the standards of beauty mm. just keep, they mm. keep changing. Mm. The most you can do is be, find find what you're comfortable with and live with that. And also, that. and also, I think generally as humans, mm. your weight will change. Yes. Yeah, your skin color depending on where you go. Because when changes. I was abroad, I was lighter than I am. Mm. So mm. these things change. You can't say I'm permanently going to look like this. Mm. So just be patient with yourself. Give yourself time. Mm. Yeah. I must remember, like I think what you said, which is it keeps changing, mm. but you decide. Standards you change. decide yeah. if you want to feel pretty. If you want to feel pretty, yeah. you are pretty. No one else can mm. tell you anything. Actually, that confidence does go a mm. long way. It does that mm. confidence goes a long way? Because you can see someone who's very confident. Mm. Mm. You don't know where that person. How that person was feeling yeah. a few years ago. Yeah. 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 So I do think. The the confidence if you're confident in yourself, it, mm. it also changes how people see mm. you. And I think less people even if someone had something to say about they how won't. Mm. they're probably going to hold back because they feel like, Oh, you're not bothered yeah, by how yeah. you look. Yeah, this is so my comment is not going to hit. It's not mm. going to yeah. if their intention was to make you feel bad, mm. it's not going to make you feel bad. Yeah. 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 So that's it guys. Discrimination, it's wrong, whether you're skinny or fat in between your not yet sure. You're the, okay. You're okay. Discrimination based on your skin color, it doesn't make sense. We are all gorgeous. Imagine we can all survive in the same universe at the same time with our different standards of beauty and color. So that's, that's it, guys. So bye. <laughs> bye.